day now, guys. What is happening? Just wanted to talk a little bit, guys, about the final Daredevil volume that I read today. Uh, started it yesterday, finished it today. Within a day, finished the last Widow's Kiss volume 21 Daredevil book. And boy, am I tired. Um, where do I begin? I gotta say that this last volume, similar to Captain America, was really a breath of fresh air. Uh, you know, spending 10 years of reading Mark Gruenwald in Captain America and then suddenly getting Mark Wade to close out the series. Kind of reminds me with here with Dead, with Daredevil, excuse me, and Joe Kelly writing pretty much the majority of the of these stories. Uh, was it 365 to 375? Um, then of course, uh, Scott Lobdell, surprisingly, stepped in with a four issue storyline. And then the final issue, 380, was written by, of all people, D.G. Chichester. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but let's focus on the positive. Uh, great way to end the series, just overall. A very light toned Daredevil, Matt Murdock. He and Karen, you know, are living together. She accepts his role as Daredevil. and. He's still getting his ass whooped and whooping ass. Um, it's funny, th this volume was pretty much, actually, and, and this cover, this skeletal looking fellow right here is Mr. Fear, who now is running amok. He runs amok between 366 to 368, or 369, or is it 370? I don't even remember. But there's like the, a huge riot at Rikers Island. Mr. Fear is at the head of it. Uh, and then he breaks this this psychopathic serial killer uh, loose, and then from like issue 372 to 375, uh, it's all Mr. Fear. Mr. Fear, uh, under the cloak of night, uh, has his guy Charlie murder people, murder women, almost murders Foggy's sister Candace. Um, Karen is framed for his murder, which is weird because at the end of 374 and then to 375, it it ends with her landlady, Karen's landlady, being stabbed to death, and then 375 opens up with Karen being accused of the of the guy's murder, which is weird because we don't see the murder, her doing the murder, and we don't, there's no, there's a lapse in time, but they don't explain how we got from here to there, from the end of 374 to the beginning of 375. Um, I don't know. But apparently Karen killed this guy, and but he didn't. He, he, he lived. He I don't know, um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm mystified by that. I'm even more mystified of, of, of the following, The Flying Blind. There was a four-part storyline from 376 to 379 where Matt it gets involved in S.H.I.E.L.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. puts, they put Matt in the body of a French dude and Matt doesn't even remember. He has amnesia, but he's this other guy and through the course of the storyline, he remembers who he is. Uh, it was written by Scott Libdell, but I don't know. I, I just didn't care for that storyline. Um, and then, of course, the last issue, 380, just mainly had uh, D.G. Chester running at the mouth again. Uh, and just wrapping up a, 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 the story. The story was just weird. It was like the Kingpin, Bushwhacker, and Bullseye, and the Hand, they want this cargo, this weapons cargo, on a ship. And they're using as a red herring this Middle Eastern guy. Like they, they're just bombing shit, and so this Middle Eastern guy is accused of terrorism, which really doesn't feel like it. It connects. It really doesn't connect. Like I didn't. I didn't know what the fuck was going on uh, in regards to Kingpin, his motive to framing this guy. Like, what did this guy do? The Kingpin. Um, doesn't make any sense at all and i'm sure you guys are probably scratching your head wondering what i'm talking about i don't know guys i don't know um i'm mystified by by, by some of these storylines i'd say maybe the, the the book ended rather poorly you know i think they just phoned it in kind of like how i do these sometimes but i like joe kelly i like joe kelly's refreshing sense of humor uh his reverent style in making uh, Matt Murdock likable and Foggy likable. I really like Foggy. He, he's such a goofball and a douche, but he's he's lovable. Um, and yeah, that Mr. Fear just gassing everybody and making everybody go crazy. 
Um, there really much, there wasn't much to it. Um, Black Widow shot Matt, um, but she was in on it. Like, or she, he wasn't in on it, but she was. She she meant to do it just to get in with the bad guys to uh, help find Dark Star, the, the People's Protector, which were the what was it? Uh, Ursa Major, Vanguard, Dark Star. I'm sure you guys remember the uh, the Soviet superheroes. They're involved in Black Widow, and of course. Daredevil has to has to be involved. Um, you know, come to think of it, maybe this volume really wasn't that all that good. I don't know. What what do you guys think? Did you guys read this? Uh, you know, I never read Daredevil, so this was all new to me. Um, but I, I I came away thinking that Daredevil is not so bad as superior. He's not. He doesn't have any superpowers. Uh, he's not the X Men or Spider Man, but he's pretty cool, and I think. He was handled pretty well by a lot of writers. Some stories were kind of boring. Some stories didn't make sense. Some stories were pretty interesting. Um, but overall, I don't know. Something tells me that none of these will compare to the Frank Miller storylines. And we need or the, the Frank volume, Frank Miller volumes, volumes 8 through 11. Sorry, guys. I'm, it's late and I'm very tired. But... Um, all we need now is just 8, 9, 10, and 11, which are Frank Miller's run, Born Again, um, the introduction of Elektra, and Stick, and The Hand, and The Chase, and all, all, all these characters. So we'll just have to wait and see, guys. But yeah, uh, not, not really much in the way of storyline storylines that are really good. It, it does feel phoned in and, and peters out towards the end. But... I, I do like Joe Kelly's. Joe Kelly's writing does remind me of Mark Wade when Mark Wade stepped in for Gruenwald in Captain America. Um, so yeah, give it a chance, guys. It's not out in stores. This book hasn't been out in nine years. Like they, it came out nine years ago. They have not reprinted it, and there are no plans to do it as of yet. So get it online while you can, guys. And for my next book, I will be jumping back into Fantastic Four Volume Ten. Crisis, oh no, Crisis Earth, Counter Earth Must Die. I'm thinking of Crisis on Infinite Earths, but Counter Earth Must Die, Fantastic Four. That's going to be the next one, guys. Ooh, just It smells so fresh. It just came out like a few weeks ago, I think a month ago. Mm, okay, I'm going to get high on the ink. All right, guys, that's the end of that. That's the end of De uh, Daredevil. Uh, all 17 volumes that have been released are done and read. I'm going to read Fantastic Four Volume 10, then uh, Namor Volume 4, Moon Knight Volume 5, and then I may jump back into uh, Deadpool. Deadpool, then Excalibur, then I'm going to read everything in order. Deadpool, Excalibur, Generation X, and then Incredible Hulk, and I'll, I'll read that whole line there. That's my Marvel master plan, guys. All right, guys, let me know what you think. The end of The Road for Daredevil is here. And we're going to be moving on to other stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And you all have a great night. Bye-bye.